Felder here with Teaspoon of Fun and today I'm going to show you how to do this amazing little step card. We have a paper crafting shop called teaspoonoffun.com and if you see any of the products that you like here hop on over to www.teaspoonoffun.com and shop away. We have a blog, we have all kinds of um, great information and inspiration for you over there besides our shop. So um, head on over there. You can either find the description, in the description you can find the link there. You can find it up in the little eye up above there in the corner, in the right hand corner up and above and um, just follow along. So a sidestep card is not anything new. We've been doing these for years and years and years and years, but we have a die to make your life so much easier and to make things so much faster. So this is the die right here. It has six dies to go along with it. So not only does it have the, um, the die to make the cut, but it also has all of the layers to go along with it. So um, it has the piece that goes in here. It has a little uh, topper right here that I'm not gonna be using today, but it does have that one also. It has this little piece right here, and I'm not gonna be using the banner to go along with it, but the banner fits nicely right inside there. And then we have these two panels right here, and it just, it works out so perfectly because your life is so much easier. And who doesn't just absolutely love um, making life easier? So we can create, but we can create fast, we can create multiples of things, this just makes life so much easier. So I'm gonna take these two white pieces away because these are part of the die, but I'm just not gonna be using them today. The first thing that we're gonna do is I also incorporated besides the center step card, I call this the center step puzzle card because we're gonna take and make a puzzle out of this die right here. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Let me show you what it looks like um, all by itself. I can cut it up into pieces. I can make it a full size card. Um, it's just an absolutely beautiful embossing folder. So what we're gonna do, let's take and put these, these aside for right now. Um, and we're gonna take these pieces that I cut out ahead of time and we're going to um, put them in our embossing folder and, and um, run them through. But to make it a puzzle card, we wanna make sure that all of the pieces um, are um, uh, lined up perfectly, all right? So what do I mean by that? We're gonna take this and we're gonna put it right here. We're gonna take the two side panels and I'm gonna put this up higher because I gotta put this one down below. Okay, right there. And let's put it up just a little bit higher. There we go. And then we're gonna take the two side pieces right here and right here. And now I'm gonna take and run them through the machine. All right, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, here is my embossing folder. I just ran it through um, the machine and we have our pieces that are our puzzle. Now what you wanna make sure is that you um, keep them in the order that they are. But before we add them to our card, you're gonna see that I did them in that nice blue, but I also have this um, beautiful, absolutely beautiful um, white glow to it. All right, let me show you how I did that. You remember this card I did a, mm, quite a bit ago, and um, it, um, it, it, this right here, I did the same technique. Um, it's just absolutely gorgeous, and what I use is my Luma paint right here with one of our little finger daubers, all right? Um, I also wanted to show you that we do have other, um, you know, making life easier, as I said. Um, this is gonna be a step card. Yes, we can take and we can cut and we can score. Why do that? It is so, so easy. All I did was take this piece of paper, I added the die so that this fat part is on top, just like this. 
I laid it on um, a four and a quarter by um, 11 sheet of paper and cut it out just like this. And that's where we get our um, little image right here or our little cutouts. Um, I'll show you how to fold that in just a minute. Before I do that, I wanted to show you a couple of the um, other um, I wanted to show you a couple of the other interactive cards that we have. Like I said, I'm trying to make your life so much easier. So this little easel card right here was a huge hit and still is. Um, we have this in the shop. It's all one It's all one um, piece. All you do is just cut everything out and put them on. All of these flowers are included in that die. All of the um, foliage. Um, it's, it's just an, it's an amazing little um, piece right here. And the other interactive one that we have, and we're getting more and more in, but um, just making your life so much easier. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Look at So cute. All right, so making life easier. Let's get going. Um, like I said, the next thing that we're going to do is to take these. Now, you want to be very, very careful and to keep them um, right in the order that they are. All right, let me put them on the side so I, you can see what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna take this one, put it in the middle, put this one on this side, cause see how they go together? All right, and then this one's gonna go right here, and this one's gonna go right here. We're gonna take our Luma paint, all right, right here. And what I like to do is just uh, shake it a little bit, We've got some paint on the top of our lid. You can also put it in one of our um, little uh, flower uh, trays if you want to, or one of our little paw trays right here. But I'm, today I'm just gonna use it right off the top because we're gonna use very, very little. So what I'll do is I'll just lift it up and then I'll brush most of it off, all right? Does that sound crazy or what? But yep, that's what we're gonna do. And then what we'll do is we'll just take and brush it on very lightly. There we go. All right, this one little piece right here should be enough for the whole card. Um, we're just gonna take and lightly rub it on so you just keep it on the top. And we're just highlighting the raised areas. Now we'll go back in. We'll go back in and just um, highlight a little bit more after after um, we get it all done. But do you see how it just kind of takes life? Look at the difference between that one and this one. All right. Again, I just used so much. This little jar will last last you a lifetime. It is amazing stuff. Um, I've added color to it, so if I wanted to to uh, paint with color, I can do that also. If you have a mistake, I just get a little bit more. And this is the bottom piece. Okay. All right, let's go back in and see where we need a little bit more. It's just giving you that very rustic. Um, oh, it just adds so much to the to the card. And because it just came out so pretty, I decided not to cover any of it up and just put a little bit of a saying on the bottom. Um, let me just show you what I mean by that. I just didn't want to cover any of that up because it just looks so, so pretty. All right, so we're done with our little Luma paint right here and our little dauber. Again, we have both of these in the Teaspoon of Fun shop. Um, it's amazing stuff. And um, if you ever have a mistake, like if you're if you stamped and you have um, uh, a, a mistake on it like the ink went outside or whatever um, you can just take a, a little paintbrush our number one paintbrush and um, pick up some of that luma paint because it is bleed proof you can actually cover up your mistake it works wonderful all right so those are all of our pieces now remember we want to keep them in the order that they are <coughs> excuse me now what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to fold all right so you have um, this is your card right here, and what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to fold this one in um, a mountain fold right here, but um, this one's also going to be a mountain fold, and this one's going to be a mountain fold, okay? So these two are going to be up like this, okay? We're just going to take them a little at a time. This one's going to be a valley fold, and this one's going to be a valley fold, and then this one and this one are going to be mountain folds. All right, so now that we have them all started, let's just take this, put it down. We're gonna grab our crease tool here and just crease everything nicely. And that's all there is to it. 
rather than the cutting and the folding and measuring, this is all done for you in one felt swoop. And like I said, you just take um, a piece of um, four and a quarter by 11. You're gonna put the fat part on top. You're gonna make it go all the way to the very bottom down here, okay? And you're gonna run it through your machine. When it comes out, it just comes out with all of the, the creases, with all of the cuts, and you are good to go. You can make 10 of these, 20 of these, 100 at a time. Can you imagine making your Christmas cards like this and having somebody get one of these Christmas cards? And it is effortless effortless on your part because everything is done for you. And then it's got all of the pieces um, so that you can take and cut all of the uh, layers without having to measure anything. I love that. All right, so let's just show you how fast this is. So now remember, you wanna keep everything in order. So I'm just gonna take this piece right here. I'm gonna add some of our deluxe adhesive. And you can use any adhesive that you want. This is one of my favorites. Normally I use my Easy Glide, um, but I just may, wanted to make sure that um, I got it all the way close to the edges and I didn't want to press any of it down. Does that make sense? Um, I didn't want to lose any of the, I always put the top back on while I'm working, all right? Um, I just didn't want to lose any of the um, design on it, all right? Always make sure, this is very important, always make sure that you cut out your pieces first and then use your embossing folder. If you use your embossing folder first and then cut it out, it's going to flatten out your design, all right? So let's just make sure we got this in the right yep going in the right direction and what we want to do is to take and put it between this valley and this mountain right here and all i'm going to do is center it right here okay there's your first piece let's go to the next one and again i'm going to use my deluxe adhesive All right, get it close to the edges. I always squeeze it in the middle. That sucks the, um, the glue back down in so it doesn't clog. Let's put this one up here. Let's make sure we've got it going in the same direction here. And we do. All right, now one's gonna get centered right here. There we go. Let's grab or stamp pendable. And in a minute, I'll turn it over and do it again. I love this right here. You need one of these. They are amazing. All right, let's take this one. Make sure we got it going in the right direction. We do turn it over. Add our adhesive. Now, these are longer and skinnier than that one on the bottom here. So just make sure when you cut two of these, because this one you have to cut two of, one for each side, squeeze the middle, put your top on, and let's turn it over to put it on. And that one is going to go even with this little guy right up there. Okay? So this is a puzzle center cut easel card. Is that what I called it? Center step card. Okay. Here we go. Oh, that one's got to go down just a little bit. That's why I love this adhesive. Okay, it's going to go right about struggling here. Let's see. There we go. Let's get it straight. There we go. Okay, so those two are nice and even right there. Now our last piece, let's make sure we got it. We do, we do. Yep, right there. Okay, let's take and put our adhesive on this little guy right here. Again, you're making life easier for yourself. All right, squeeze the middle. You can feel it sucked back in and that's what you want. You don't want the uh, glue to get stuck in the top there. Alrighty, I'll make sure I got it in the right direction here. I do, I do, I do. Okay, so that's just going to get centered down here. Do you see how fast this card is? 
Okay, so there's that. And let's just put it up. Isn't that beautiful? Look at how striking that is. All right, so now what I like to do is to turn it over and just give it a nice, even, even. pressure here with my Stampendable. Grab one of these in the shop. www.teaspoonoffun.com. Come and shop with us. We're the cutest little company ever. All right, so here we are. We're almost all done. We're going to take and add our sweet wishes. And what I did was I cut out three of these. Two of them were in white and one of them I wanted to do in the, the um, silver mirror paper. So we're going to add our deluxe adhesive to this and add it to our bottom. Now I'm not going to add any to the top of the S because the, uh, or the T, sorry, because the T hangs over. All right. And the S hangs over. Let's see. No, the S is good. So I'm going to put it on the S, but not the T. Okay. Just at the bottom of the T. All right. And I'm not even squeezing this glue. It just comes out perfect. I love this glue. And now it comes in the mega size because we're, we just use it all the time. Okay, not on the top of the T. I think that's good right there. Let's take our Let's take our tweezers here and Flip it around, touch it a little bit, and now we're going to add it to the bottom of our card, okay? And I just want a little bit of the blue to show on the bottom. The T is not, uh, there's no glue on the top of the T, so it won't um, stick to that layer right there. We're going to just hold it with this while it dries for just a second, and the last thing that we're going to do... Now, certainly you could put something on there if you wanted to. Um, you know how to decorate these um, size, or these uh, um, center step cards, but um, this was so pretty. This embossing folder is absolutely gorgeous, um, just like this one. I love both of them. I will put references to both of these in our website um, on the blog post for this one. For this one, so um, they're all on there, including all of these little um, other. Um, interactive cards in case you're interested in those um, but for right now the only thing that we have left to do is to grab our retractable pick and add some of our pearls all right and these are our newest pearls these are mini mini pearls and um, they're just so pretty and I'm just gonna just randomly put them anywhere all right just a couple of them just to give it a little bit of um, a little bit more elegance I should say because this card really has a lot of elegance to it all right, and I'm just picking them up with my little pick here. I'll put one down here. And how about one, how about right here? Just random, just random, random, random. I've got to have one on this side. And how about one over here somewhere? Let's see. There we go. Was that easy or what? Look at how pretty, 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 pretty these cards are. Again, this is a beautiful uh, center step card. I want to keep calling it a side step card, but this one is the center because the step is up here. All right? Look at that. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Make sure you check it out. Up in the upper right-hand corner, there's a little I, or down in the description, um, there is the link there also. It's www.teaspoonoffun.com. We have so much inspiration over there. We have a complete um, gallery for you. We have our um, sweet rewards, which gives you free things after you start buying from us. It's an amazing little uh, little thing. And then you get Vicki and I. We are just the best. We love having customers like you, um, and we love your comments. So make sure you comment and uh, you stick with us. If you have any questions, just let us know. We're here to help. Um, click on the um, subscribe button. Make sure you click on the bell so that you get the most frequent updates. You take care. Have a great day. And thank you for stopping by. 